Hi, welcome to Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing. I'm Reverend Sharon Ketchum, and with me is Winnelly Zeeb. Hi, Winnelly. Hello, Reverend Sharon and everyone. Yeah, welcome all of you. I mean, here we are live together in that place be on time and space. We are spiritually in that holy instant together. I love that. So welcome to a community that held a mission statement to spiritually awaken to our oneness with God, each other, and all creation. And we hold an overall vision, seeing a world powerfully transformed through the growing movement of shared spiritual awakening. And shared for me is just really the most important word there because it's about honoring each other, whatever our beliefs are, whatever path we are on, and, and honoring ourselves wherever we are on our chosen path. This isn't about competition. This is about cooperation because together we just really make that spiritual experience so much richer with our, our varied ideas. So we're going to begin with an ecumenical prayer. I invite you to affirm with me the enlightenment of the Buddha shines within us. The compassion of the Christ moves through us. The power of Jehovah strengthens and guards us. The presence of Allah surrounds and guides us. Wherever we are, the Tao is, and all is God. A little time for a little self-hugging, self-loving, um, havening, a little rubbing there if you need some comfort or just a hug so you're all practiced up. And oh, as we make that connection with ourselves, what a wonderful practice. So many times we forget about ourselves and just feel the love and be the love and know that someday soon, We'll be able to hug each other again without concern. <sighs> so, yes, our God bucket time. So, Winnelly, do you want to pass the bucket over to me so I can hear what God said to you this week? I will. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Me, yeah. I love to play with words, as you know, and it's always a constant reminder what magic lies in words. Mm. And when I get, st I get stuck, the me mm -hmm. gets stuck. If I flip my world upside down, then M becomes a W, and it's we. We <laughs> and all oh, the sound when you're having joy. We 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 <laughs> me we. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous! Good thing to remember because we're trying to do it alone. It is so darn hard, <laughs> and you just feel like everything's fighting you. But when we're doing it together, all of a sudden there's it's this impetus. Yeah, <laughs> we <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I got my word in here, and I'm going to pass this over to you. Okay. All right, got it. Let's see. Looker. Yeah, you know, it was one of those weeks that sometimes we're finders and sometimes we're lookers. Mm. And I spent a lot of time looking this week. <laughs> I, mean, I, and I swear sometimes things go to another realm, that they have totally disappeared because I looked for... Uh, for <laughs> Okay, I, you know, they renewed my contract here at, at Unity, and um, people were coming in to sign it, the board members were, and um, so the second person signed it, and I put it right back on the thing, I thought, and, and then it disappeared, <laughs> it just disappeared, and I couldn't find it for a whole day, and and then I found it, and then Maxine, my wife has uh, a back uh, stimulator for pain, and she has to charge herself every night. And we lost, we couldn't find it. It's in the house, couldn't find it. And this, you know, so I just really noticed how many times I was, I was a looker, I, I was looking for things. And other time that all of a sudden somebody would shift and I would find it. And I'm thinking, how many times am I looking for that right answer? How many times am I looking for God to show up really substantially? And there's just that flick of the switch where you're a finder. Of course, that's God. Of course, that's perfect. Of course, that's love. Anyway. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, if I could remember that when I was in the anxiety of looking, though. Yeah. You know, there's such tension. I could just feel my heart going. Um, and it could be right there. But. <laughs> yeah. It's like there's this blindfold on or it goes to the other realm. Yes. Um, 
or my daughter's line is somebody came into the house and stole it. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. It was a broken whatever. Somebody came in and stole it. Yeah, that's it. Because I cannot find anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, life could be so much simpler. <laughs> mm. If we would wee a little bit more. Wee. <laughs> wee. Well, let's just take a moment to bless our neighbors. Those physically close to us, those at other parts of the world. As we just open our heart and we pray with understanding and compassion in our hearts, knowing that divine light always shines, even in the darkest moments. We bless our medical community and our essential workers, all who are devoted to serving others in our times of need. We bless those in grief, knowing whatever their loss, knowing that God is their strength. We lift our gaze to remember our shared humanity, our unity. Centered in God's divine presence within, we know the truth for each person in our neighborhood and on this planet. We are guided by wisdom arising in love as we act in ways that foster peace and wholeness for all. And so it is. Amen. Well, Winley, do you have a word for the day? <laughs> Absolutely. Today's daily word is now. Inspired by Paul's letter to the church in Corinth. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. There is a power in this very moment. Yesterday is part, and tomorrow is not yet here. There is only this moment, ripe with promise and potential, ready for us to live into it fully. Through our many gifts, everything we need to get started is within us. We need no wait for the perfect moment to arrive because there is no time more perfect than now and no place more perfect than here. Procrastination has no place in our lives. We fritter away our energy when we find reasons not to get started, losing our zeal and focus and inviting frustration into our lives. Today, we claim the power of our present moment and say, this is the day we begin. Amen. Now is the time to be in service, to forgive, to create, and to love. Let us affirm together, I find my power in this very moment. Yes. I was just having one of those God expulsion moments, just that amen came in. Sorry to startle <laughs> you. But it was just, yes, this is so true. And yeah. we're going to take a moment now to bless Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing, knowing that it's not a thing, but it's all of us. It's our collective consciousness um, and radiates out from there. So Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing embraces its journey of spiritual growth. We bless our time of wandering in the wilderness. We give thanks that each door closed, that closed to us redirected our attention to a door opening for us. We are right now living as a greater expression of love a force for good in our neighborhood and in our lives. We are receptive to the handprint of God guiding us to a greater blessing, a field of unlimited possibilities, a promised land for us collectively and individually. And so it is, Allah, Shalom, Amen, Namaste. Hmm. And our core value. This month, we are focusing on our core value of inclusiveness. The current world pandemic may keep us physically distant, but we are never distanced from God. The omnipresence of love within us, within all people and all situations. It is in this understanding that we embrace inclusiveness with all people Although we may be physically distanced, we embrace the diversity of thought 
and loving expression evidenced in all people, for they too are an expression of God as love. In this season of nonviolence, we model the work of Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr., who invested their lives into the awakening of peaceful entanglements within all peoples in our world. Now is the right time to practice beholding the Christ light in every person we meet and every individual we see. Now is the perfect time to celebrate what brings us together instead of what tears us apart. In the poem by Amanda Gorman, we are reminded of the universal perfection of peace within each of us. Amanda's words, the new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. Mm. Let us be it by affirming we embrace all people as expressions of God. Oh, and thank, thank you. you, Amanda. Oh, she's such an amazing poet. Oh, what a beautiful soul. I've renamed her Amanda Amazing. Amanda Amazing, I love that. That's great. She truly is. She is. And there are so many amazing things out there, even though it, everything is so different right now. But unity is always open, no matter about the pandemic. We just, you know, are careful on, on our physical gathering. But our building is now open to visitors and, and volunteers that are helping us just clean things up and all the things that need to be done when you move into a new place. We just ask that people call so that we kind of can have a crowd control you know, <laughs> before we get, get down here. And then what's up in general, we have tentative plans for our first in-person service for Easter, April 4th. So <clears throat> God willing and the virus rates don't rise, <laughs> we will get together to celebrate Easter. Um, yeah, so I mean, and we're assuming that, you know, we've been doing really good in Michigan about keeping the rates down because safety is the most important. This is the last week to vote uh, for Congress Act. Yeah, for Congress Choice. Um, so actually, yeah, I hope you got it in by Friday because we'll, we'll, I'll be announcing this, I think, during my, during my message, actually, who we choose. Or maybe it'll be next week, but vote. Um, Wednesday night prayer circle is started again that our prayer practitioners have gotten together and so Wednesday nights from 6 to 6 30 just this half an hour time to share prayer requests to pray with others maybe to share a little spiritual writing that you might find it's just a wonderful midweek break just to lift up your spirits and of course all of our virtual gatherings you can see when they are on the website uh, give you the dates and times and now I'm going to turn it over to you. We are the ones. I love this song. Uh, yes, it says we, not me. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> nice day. Be the change you want to see. We are the ones that we've been waiting for We are the ones who will make a difference We are the ones who could change the world We are the ones We are the ones I've been feeling like I can make a difference Been feeling like it's just no use Feeling tired and a little unconscious Coming up with every kind of excuse Till I realized it's not all up to me When we join together we face our destiny To see a world where we are living as one it can be, it shall be, it will be done. We are the ones that we've been 
waiting for I know we are the ones who will make a difference We are the ones who could change the world We are the ones I know we are the ones else gonna make the changes no save is gonna drop from the sky nothing left to do but wake up cause it's really up to you and I to take it one step at a time join together with your hand in mine where we will see a world that we've been dreaming about we need it now, the time is now, there is no doubt We are the ones that we've been waiting for I know we are the ones who could make that difference We are the ones who could change the world Oh yeah, we are the ones the ones. We are, we are. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the ones who will make a difference. We are the ones who could change the world. We are the ones. I am, I am. I am and you are the ones. We are the ones We are, we are Be the change you wanna see Oh, we are the ones Oh, we are the I love it. I love it. You know, sometimes the songs you pick and your voice, it just feels like my heart's being cradled. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank was you. Just, just lovely. Well, as we close out today, just want to remind you that Unity is available on demand. You, this is the opening. There's a message and a meditation. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the season of nonviolence that actually began yesterday. And if you would like to support this ministry, you can donate online or mail checks to our new address. Yeah, check it out. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us. See you in the next section. God bless. <laughs>